Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to show you a demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Max kit on a Volvo vehicle. We're in a little Volvo C30 here which has numerous warning messages and warning dashboard lights. So we're going to use this tool as a demonstration to show you that you can use this tool uh, to diagnose and reset these warning lights, okay? I'll pop the link to this kit in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones on the market. They can damage your vehicle and by using the links below it will take you to the genuine and official product okay so first of all you can see we've got like the airbag light we've got ABS traction control warning lights and on the message system at the top there if I scroll through them got engine system service required that's a bulb failure that's not irrelevant that's not relevant SRS airbag and ABS anti skid service required okay so we'll stick with the engine one for now uh, we're going to select diagnostics we're going to find the Volvo section so here it is Volvo and we're going to select the vehicle manually so it's a it's a little Volvo C30 from 2008 so um, we just once we've selected that it'll start giving us a list of all of the systems which we can diagnose uh, it's going to ask us for the engine type. If you're not too sure about that, don't worry too much. One of the options will get you through to where you need to be. Uh, you can automatically scan the vehicle or you can just select it manually. So we're going to click control unit. And then it gives us a list of the systems that we can diagnose. So we're going to click on to diesel engine, all right? So it gives us now options to do certain things within the engine system. So we're just going to go on to read fault codes. It's giving us these three fault codes, okay? Um, relating to the mass airflow sensor well the top two are in any case this bottom one is kind of like an intermittent one it comes on it comes off we're not too worried about that because it's not affecting the way the vehicle drives or performs or anything the top one we know it needs a new mass airflow sensor um, it gives us sometimes it gives us uh, a few starting issues um, not really much of a problem though because you start at the second time it works fine but we are getting this fault and we are getting the engine system service required message uh, so once we put a new MAF in it will allow us to reset that message and get rid of these fault codes if I try to clear the fault code without having fixed anything, we've got fail to complete arrays operation here. So that's the type of thing that I can give you, all right? But we do have other warning lights and other faults that we have fixed, so we'll be able to show you those getting reset. Like for example, we look at ABS anti-lock braking system. Go to read fault code. This was giving us a 0020 wheel sensor right front faulty signal, okay? Because we're in that system, it's now t flashing the warning light, okay? But we have put a new sensor in. Um, so what we can do is go clear fault code, click OK to that, erase operation done. And then the warning lights, that one should come on, that one should, the one down here should come on as well. And then they'll all go off. Okay, so if we just back out of this. So we just wait for the warning lights to do its thing. Each vehicle reacts differently to a, an ABS fault clearance. So sometimes they'll go off straight away. There we go, those two warning lights have gone off now. And we have ABS system passed, all right? So that's the ABS system. And then we can come down to the airbag system. So it's this one here, SRS and supplemental inflatable restraint system. And then same again, read fault code. These were the fault codes that we were getting for that. Again, it has been sorted. Uh, it was a connection issue, actually. Uh, we go clear fault memory. Same again, we clear that. And then this takes sometimes five or 10 seconds to actually turn off. We can come out of that. Whoops. Gone back in there by accident. And we'll just wait for that airbag light to turn off. It should turn off. There we go. And that's down to the CR Max kit. So it really does cover a huge range of manufacturers. Um, as, you saw, as you saw there, or actually if you didn't see it, then um, these are the manufacturers that it will cover. But not only the manufacturers, it does service functions as well. So it does a huge range of service functions. It doesn't do all of these functions on all vehicles. Uh, if you wanted to double check, then make sure 
send us your VIN number to the email address at Diagnostic World uh, and we can check that for you but the, the, the purpose of this video was really just to show you the CR Max working on a Volvo diagnosing these faults um, and hopefully resetting as much as we can for the purpose of the video but we know that we need to uh, get that the MAF sensor change the mass airflow sensor uh, and that will allow us to erase the uh, engine system service required. But I will pop the link to this kit in the description below this video. Uh, Fakes and clones do exist, they can damage your vehicle and it's just not worth going down that route. Thanks very much for watching guys and I hope this helps.